I'm Brittany Begley. Here's what's happening. Folsom police need your help finding the man who sexually assaulted a young girl on a bike trail. It happened late Friday night. The girl's mother said someone grabbed her 15 year old daughter while she was walking on a bike trail near Creekside Drive. She told police the suspect was a white man between 20 and 30 years old. The Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting is now being investigated as an act of domestic terrorism. The FBI says suspects were exploring so-called violent ideologies. The gunman did have a list of potential targets, organizations ranging from religious institutions, federal buildings, political parties, and the Garlic Festival. It's not clear why he targeted the festival first. And a year and a half later, the man accused of killing a Calusa woman has pleaded not guilty to her murder. Salvador Garcia disappeared after his ex-girlfriend Karen Garcia's death. He was found in Mexico, but is now in the Calusa County Jail right now. He is due back in court in October. The Trump campaign and Republican Party are now suing California over a new law requiring presidential candidates to release their tax returns just to get on the primary ballot. The lawsuits argue that it's unconstitutional by creating an extra requirement to run for president. The president has now released his tax returns saying they are under audit. Now let's get a check out the weather with our meteorologist, Rob Carl Mark. Triple digits last weekend. What about today? Okay, today's going to be the beginning of a cool down. Look at this. Where's the 90? I don't see one. That's just Sacramento, for example. I do think if you're in Stockton, Modesto, Turlock, Patterson, Hillmar, uh, you are looking at maybe 91, 92, and that's a huge change from yesterday. Just so you know, central southern Sierra could see maybe a random thunderstorm st start to pop up and then move off quickly to the east, but that's about it weather-wise. We really are in for a nice break in the weather as we hit highs in the 80s for basically everyone for Thursday, for Friday, for Saturday, 86 for the high on a weekend. That rarely ever happens in August, but I think it will happen. And then going into next week, it does get hot again.